Alright, this is always by far the hardest thing to explain because linking is just sometimes it's just way too complicated for what you're trying to do, but in all honesty, once you get used to it, it's not bad. It's not hard. You just gotta understand the concepts of going from one page to another page. And this is why I keep I say keep page names simple. It's gonna kick in right here. So I've I've made page two. This is the page name and this is what I've got a link to. Remember the subject doesn't exactly alter my my whole linking process. So I, from my test page, my test, I want to go to page two. So I'm going to open test, and I need my editing field at the bottom. So I'm going to pop that up. You can see I've got my random text here. Um, let's make this let's make this a link to page two and this is a long list when you right click after highlighting it's at the very bottom over here make link so I've clicked that and it's asking for a target URL well this page is in the same exact location as page two so I'm gonna just type in the exact name of page two um, these fields are for tags, so don't really worry about those. But your window, it's asking new window or same window. Um, I usually put it on same window so that you don't have a hundred browser windows popping up here and there. And go to OK. Now that that's a link that's going to work um, once you actually see it on the page. There's another way to do it. Let me pull that down so you can see it. Insert link. And now I'm going to also call this page two. Um, I'm going to use same window. Hit OK. Now it's highlighted, so if you type right now, it'll it'll override what you're actually typing in. So you click to the right of it and say page two. And now both of these are going to page two, but they're typed in as different things. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save without closing. And then go to my browser where this is actually located, which is at my test page that I've been editing. I need to refresh this to see the updates. There's random text, and then there's page two. Well, both of these are going to go to page two. But I don't have anything on page two, so I can't go back to my test page. And that's how you link from one page to the other. Simple as that.